We're gonna tackle the hip now. Now the hip is this piece here. This is a hip and ridge trim. So a hip cap is used, it's a lot like a ridge at a slope. Now one thing we wanna keep in mind before we get into this about the ridge trim. A lot of times it's the exact same part that you'll use on a ridge as you'll use on a hip. The difference to keep in mind is pitch. This is a 612 pitch roof, but a, a hip cap for a 612 is going to be not as tight as a ridge cap for a 612. So you wouldn't want to use your hip trim on the ridge cap or else when you start putting those screws in, it's gonna, it's gonna pull and fight, create some waves all the way down. All right, so that's basics on the trim real quick. Now we want to get into how do we cut these panels, make sure that they're right every time. It's a good thing Dave's here because he's got some tricks. As you know, every hip and valley panel has a long side and a short side. Yep. So what we're going to teach people today is how to easily take those measurements. Okay. And the tool that we're going to use is the two foot square. Okay. So let's have a conversation about the width of the panel because most people automatically assume that they're going to be calculating their hip or their valley off of the 16 inches of coverage. Yeah, it's a 16 inch panel. It is a 16 inch panel but the true width of the panel from outside edge to outside edge is 17 and a half inches. And if let's, let's put okay. this panel up here and yeah. we'll take a look. So if we measure this panel from outside edge to outside edge, as I said, you can see that it's 17 and a half inches. And that's the measurement that we need to use because when we're calculating our angles, we're going from the outside to the hip, which is on the other outside of the panel. Okay. Okay. And if you look at the square, they can see that I've made a mark that's easy to see at 17 and a half inches. Okay, all right, so let's see how you use that mark. Okay, so lining the square up with the inside of the last panel, we're gonna slide this up until our 17 and a half inch mark hits the hip. And we can see that right there is where we've hit. And we can transfer that measurement over to the panel by making a mark here. And what that does is it gives us the short length of the panel and we know what our length, our long, is already. All right, so this is gonna be our first hip cut. That's correct. So we know we need a full length sheet. That's correct. Okay. In this case, we have a panel that we're gonna come across about six inches and then start our angle. So we'll have to, we'll measure for that. And then we'll transfer the short measurement okay. to the panel. And that'll go here. That's correct. All right. All right. So just to recap, this panel that's going on, we have a measurement from here to here, and then we have an angle to calculate, but it's easy because we've Base it off of the square. Okay, sounds good. What I'm gonna do now is take the long measurement, measuring from the top of the panel down to the eave. So that's 41 and an eighth inches. The next measurement, which is the short on the angle, from the line that we just made is 29 and three eighths. And the distance from the top to the hip is seven and a quarter inches. What I'm gonna do is take those three measurements transfer them to the back of a panel and cut the panel. So we've shown you how to take the measurements for a hip panel, and now we're gonna transfer those measurements to the back side of this panel, join our lines, and make our cuts. But I wanna point out something really important. At the eve of this panel, there's a one inch clip that clips onto the drip edge. Now this panel's already been prepared with the clip. If you don't prepare it first, you have to account for the one inch. You would add one inch to all of your measurements. In this case, we don't have to because it's already been finished. On the next panel, we'll show you how to do that. Our long measurement is 41 and an eighth, and that's what this panel already is. We know that we have to come over seven and a quarter inches and make a mark before we hit the hip. So let's do that. And that seven and a quarter inch mark was from the inside of the rib. So I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna make a mark at, one, at seven and a quarter. The next measurement is the short side, and we're gonna come and we're gonna make that. So at 29 and 3 eighths, we're gonna make a mark. And now we know what we have to join. So using a straight edge, I'm gonna join these two marks. And we're gonna cut the panel along this line. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this panel and then we can go and install it. So I just finished cutting the angle. 
So if you look at the panel, you can see that we have our seven and a quarter inches at the top. Here we hit the hip. And then this is our angle from long to short. So now we have a panel that's been cut to the hip angle, as well as the small portion at the top. We have our short and our long and the seven and a quarter inches before the hip. So let's put this panel on. Snaps in place. And you can see that our angle runs up along the hip. We come across the top. When you're installing a hip panel, if you're a little bit off your line, don't worry about it. Your hip cap's gonna come and cover that panel no problem. So we'll go ahead and install this and we'll move on to the next panel, which will be entirely long and short. The last panel that we installed already had the bottom prepared for clipping over the drip edge. What we're gonna do with this panel is we're gonna leave the end unfinished so that we can show people how to take their measurements and account for the one inch clip. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna give this to you. All right. And I'll take the square. That, right? Yep. Okay. Again, we have the 17 and a half inch mark on the square and we're gonna calculate for the short. So we put it on the inside of the last panel, butt it up against the rib and we just move up until we hit our line. And then we transfer this line over to the panel and I'm gonna make a mark right here. And this mark, the distance from this mark to the eave is gonna give us our short side. And our long side is from up here down to the eave. And then we need to do what for the hem? For the hem, we're gonna account for one inch. So we'll add okay. one inches to each of these measurements. Got it. So we'll take our measurements. I'll hand you this. Okay. Thanks, Jonathan. And I'm gonna measure for our short side. So we know that the short side is 10 and 7 eighths, and our long side is 30 and 7 eighths. So just to recap, we have a short measurement of 10 and 7 eighths, and we have a long measurement of 30 and 7 eighths. So we'll take these measurements, transfer them to the panel, and account for the one inch clip. So we've taken the measurements for the next hip panel, and unlike the other one, we're doing this one without it already being prepared at the bottom, at the eave. So what I'm gonna do, just to make sure that I get the bottom side and the top side correct, I'm just gonna make a B for the bottom, T for the top, and this way I know not to make any mistakes because we're working backwards. So I'm gonna take the long measurement, which is 30 and 7 eighths, and I'm gonna add one inch to it to account for the clip. And I'm gonna make a mark on the panel at 31 and 7 eighths. The short measurement was 10 and 7 eighths. We'll make a mark at 11 and 7 eighths. There we go. And I'm gonna make these, I'm gonna extend these lines on the panel and then connect them so that we can do our cuts. This is where you wanna use your square to make sure that your lines, you're lining up with the factory edge of the panel. Using my square, I'm marking this line so that I know where to connect them. We'll do, this, do the same thing for the long side. And now all that's left to do is connect the long to the short and make our cuts. So using a straight edge, we're gonna connect these two lines. And remember, you're going from the outside edge to the outside edge. So it's important that I line up right here and I connect these two and draw my line. So now we have the finished panel on the hip where we took our short measurement, joined it with our long, and we finished the eave. We made sure to add one inch to our measurements to account for the clip, and now we'll install it. Come in here, clip it in, knock it up, and we can see that we're running with the same angle as our hip. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you're a little bit off your hip line, your hip cap's gonna come and cover that, and it's not a problem. Okay, so we'll go ahead and install this, and then we can take our measurements for the next panel. As you can see, we're on our last panel on the hip, and this is gonna be a very small panel, so we have to calculate our long, and we have to take the width to our zero point. So by measuring from the top of this to the bottom, we can see that it's 12 inches, and if we measure over from the inside right to there, we can see it's about 10 and three quarters. So if we go from this measurement out 10 and three quarters and join those two lines. That'll be our final panel for this hip. 
So we'll go over to the table, prepare it, and come back and install it. So we've taken the measurements and prepared our final hip panel. As you can see, it's a small little piece. We're going to install it here on the hip, slide it up, and that finishes the hip panels on this side of the hip. We still have the other side of the hip to do before we can install the hip cap, and we'll get to that next.